Hi everybody, my name is Wissal Chien, I'm 17 years old and today I'm going to talk about magnets. So when we were young, we used to enjoy playing with magnets. But have you ever wondered why there is always this weird relationship between magnets and iron? In fact, magnets interrupt iron due to the influence of their magnetic field up in the iron. To view a magnetic field, we need a bar magnet in a transparent shape where we sprinkle some iron filings. The iron filings arrange themselves in a pattern around the magnet, which is called magnetic field. The magnetic field lines always start from the North Pole to the South One, and their direction inside the magnet is from the South Pole to the North One. But why these lines don't influence on other objects like plastic and wood? To understand this, you have to get down at the atomic level and examine the magnetic nature of an atom's electrons. All electrons have magnetic properties. It's said to have magnetic moments which is due to their motion according to quantum mechanics. Without getting into quantum mechanics equations, it's sufficient to say that if an electron spins on this direction, it generates this magnetic field. But at the atomic level, if all the electrons spin oppositely, they will cancel out each other and then the atom won't have any magnetic properties. But if they work together and have the, sa and have the same direction, then the atom will generate this magnetic field. But having a magnetic atom doesn't mean that the material made from a lot of these atoms is magnetic too. Because when a bunch of atoms get together to make a solid, they have two choices. Lining their magnetic fields up in an opposite way and then canceling out each other, or they may put themselves in the same way and then the solid will be magnetic. However, iron doesn't have any magnetic properties until we apply a strong magnetic field to it. Because in the microscopic level, it's made of a lot of domains that don't generate the same magnetic field. But when we bring a bar magnet and put it next to this piece of iron, these domains arrange themselves uh, in the same way and then the, uh, this piece of iron will behave like a magnet. That's why, for example, when we put two pieces of iron together, they don't interact each other. But once we apply a strong magnetic field to one of these pieces, it gets the ability to attract the other piece. We get to the end of this video. I wish that was an interesting topic and you enjoyed watching it.